let's move ahead to the next video what is forms authentication in our previous video we have already discussed that there are three ways by which we can do authentication one is a forms authentication the other one is the windows authentication and the final one is the password authentication now in our previous video we have already discussed about windows authentication where we saw that the user is basically created into the windows ads directory or in the windows user groups now one of the biggest problems or one of the biggest challenges with this approach is that in case you have applications which are e-commerce applications you know where the user comes and registers via a website then probably it won't be feasible to accommodate the users into your uh, into your windows users group or into your windows ads directory now for those kind of situations probably you can use the forms authentication now forms authentication is nothing but it's a cookie or a url based authentication where the usernames and passwords are stored onto the client machines as cookie files and in case the browser doesn't support cookies you know then they are sent as encrypted uh messages on the url for every request so what we'll do in this session is that we'll try to understand what is forms authentication and how they differ from windows authentication and we'll see a small sample of uh you know small sample where we'll create a simple uh login form and we'll put in a user id password and we'll see that how we can manage uh authentication and authorization using forms authentication now here's how the forms authentication works so basically the developer actually creates a simple screen with the user id and password and uh, you know when the user enters the user id and password he is validated you know from any of the sources like you know he can be validated from sql server he can be validated from a custom database he can be also stored in a web config file if you if you want and also from windows ads so he will be validated from some source so once the authentication is done after that a ticket is generated and this ticket is sent as a file as a cookie file to the end browser user you know and users browser so it is it is saved as a cookie file into the into the browser stem file now the next time when the user comes to browse any of the sites or any of the pages of the site basically it will it will basically check you know from this cookies that you know has he been a valid user or not so he will not be prompted to enter the user id and password again and again so you can think about you know forms authentication is nothing but it's a cookie based authentication now in case your browser doesn't support cookies then it will pass the username and passwords or the credentials via the query string so what we'll do is uh, we'll first see a simple demonstration by creating the users into the web config file and we'll see that how this forms authentication overall works so what we'll do is uh, let's do forms authentication using first the web config file so what we'll do is we'll create a simple web config file we'll add all the users into the web config file and we'll see that how we can validate uh, the users from the web config file so here's the solution explorer we have four files here the login page which will help us to validate the username and password uh, we have the home page you know from the home page you will have two links one which goes to the admin page and the other which goes to the user page now the first thing what we need to do is we need to enter our users into our web config file so you we need to go to the web config file and we need to ensure that the authentication mode is forms and what we are seeing here is that we are saying that basically the first page which will start is the login.aspx page so you can see that the first thing what we have done is we have made the authentication mode as forms and we have said that the login page is nothing but the login.aspx page and once the users are validated they will basically go uh, you know the the application will read, uh, redirect to the home.aspx page now uh, what we also done is we have also created some users here so you can see that uh, i have created some credentials here saying that we have shiv user with password as pass at the rate 1 to 3 we have raju user with password as password at the rate 1 to 3 and uh, basically these users will be you know authorized to access uh, you know this this web application now we have two more things which we need to do in the web config file one is that we need to ensure that any kind of anonymous access uh, user you know any kind of user who is anonymous will not be able to access this website so what we have done over here is we have created a authorization tag and we are saying that deny any kind of user who has anonymous access and what we'll do is that you know we will also make this thing a bit interesting uh what we'll say over here is we have defined a user shiv and raju and what we're saying is that shiv is an admin so basically he has the access to admin pages as well as to the user pages but raju has access only to the user pages so that we can do by specifying the location tag and in the authorization we can specify the user who has access to the pages so you can see that we have specified here that login uh sorry the admin.aspx page has been accessed by shiv and while uh the user.aspx pages can be accessed both by the shiv as well as raju user so now that we have defined our uh, web config file we have defined our users etc 
now it's time to go and create our login page and to write a code which can basically go and uh, you know search from the web config file the user validate it and create our cookie so here's a login page which we have you can see that there is a user id text box and there's a password text box now in the login button click what i'm doing is i am first the first thing what we need to do is we need to ensure that we have the system.web.security namespace been imported uh, in the behind code so that's the first step we need to ensure the second thing you know we can use the forms authentication class now this forms authentication class belongs to the system.web.security namespace which we have just imported so we can call the forms authentication.authenticate method to authenticate if this user which has been which has been entered into your login uh, ui you know if it is present in the web config file so if you remember in the web config file we had our users in the credential tag shiv and raju so this function forms authentication dot authenticate will validate if the users entered into the user id and password text box are present in the web config file now once this statement is successful you can then call the forms authentication dot redirect from login page uh, to ensure that you know uh, you go ahead that means you go to the home dot aspx page so this statement will authenticate if your user is present in your web config file and this statement will redirect the page to the uh, main.aspx page now remember that this statement forms authentication dot redirect from login page also creates the cookie on the client side so this statement is also one of the statements you know which will help you to create the cookie on the client side right so there we are uh, all set we have created the web config file we have uh, ensured that the authentication mode is forms we have created our users and we have also defined the what you call the authorization for the users uh, you know as per the pages and uh, we have a login page you know where we have written a code now let us go and build a solution and let me go and run this solution so there's my site which is up and running and you can see that the first page which which it has popped up is a login.aspx page uh, now what we'll do is you know as we have already said that forms authentication uses uses cookies at the backend so if my authentication and authorization is proper here then it will create a cookie file here and in the next cycle when the user goes to the site it basically uses the cookie file to authenticate you know rather than uh, doing the things from scratch so you can see that currently there are no cookies created over here let me go let me go and put up a proper username and password so if you remember in the web config file i had shiv as the as a user so let me enter shiv and pass at the rate 1 to 3 now the time i have entered and validated you can see that a cookie has been created on my client side you know so because i am using the local host at this moment and i am logged in as administrator you can see that it has created a file name uh, the file name in which which is with the same name that is administrator at the rate localhost.txt